I want you to pay close attention to me when I say this. I haven't done wrestling videos in a while because there's really nothing to do videos about. But I'm reaching the point now where I'm really getting fed up with this whole authority thing. It's got to be the dumbest, most unnecessary, unoriginal idea I've ever seen and I've ever heard of. The authority is just another version of the corporation. You guys are the most annoying group of people I've ever seen. You know, I stopped watching Raw for a while in November. Not just Raw, but WWE, period. I stopped watching in November. I come back to Raw and WWE for the first time in almost three months. And it's the same crap all over again. The same crap that I left three months ago. You come out each and every week. You flaunt your power. Oh, look at us. We're the authority. We know what's best for business. If you know what's best for business, why are your fans booing the hell out of you every week? Why did everyone boo Batista when he won the Royal Rumble? If you know what's best for business. Now I know, you don't have to tell me. You don't have to say it's just a storyline. I know it's just a storyline. It's just really irritating. Because you haven't changed. You've been doing this since August 19th of 2013. This is February 2014. We'll be in August soon. And you're doing the same old thing. Week after week after week. You come out with your music. And you come out holding hands. Triple H and Stephanie, the so-called authority. And each and every week, you mess with Daniel Bryan. Oh, Daniel Bryan doesn't deserve to be the face of the WWE. He looks like a troll. And JBL sits there and kisses your ass every week. I know it's a storyline. It's just getting a little repetitive. It's the same thing every week nothing ever changes then the shield comes out and they attack everyone in the name of justice or if it's not that the Wyatt family is coming out spewing some nonsensical rhetoric talking about following buzzards and shit what does that even mean follow the buzzards it, it's stupid don't you understand that this is not best for business? You're just pissing everyone off. But, like so many wrestling fans say, no matter what, you'll always make money, WWE, because you'll always have the kids to back you up. And you'll always have John Cena. Let me get this straight. Batista hasn't been in WWE since May or June of 2010. He comes back. And he just magically wins the Royal Rumble. Magically. He's a magician now. I thought he hated WWE so much. And the Batista storyline doesn't even make any sense. You're telling me after four years he suddenly decides he wants to be WWE champion again? That makes no logical sense at all. I know WWE is choreographed, but it's supposed to have a certain amount of realism to it, and that's not realistic at all. Not at all. Triple H is ridiculous now, telling people what's best for business. We don't like Daniel Bryan. We don't like Daniel Bryan. And now it's gotten even worse because CM Punk, is gone. I can't believe this. CM Punk. Everyone is saying CM Punk should have left. He should have left. CM Punk was a millionaire. He was being paid handsomely. He was traveling first class. What more could he ask for? He's a millionaire. Now that part I agree with Triple H about 
Nobody is bigger than the WWE. Nobody. Not even CM Punk. If The Rock is not bigger than the WWE and Stone Cold's not bigger than WWE and all the Attitude Era legends are not bigger than the WWE, then CM Punk definitely isn't bigger than WWE. He's alright on the microphone. I'll give him that. He's okay. But he's no Rock. He's no Stone Cold. He's just some guy that got lucky because one day he decided to sit on the floor Indian style. And he started spewing all his feelings out. And he went around calling it a pipe bomb. Let's be honest. He thinks he's The Rock. Ever since The Rock started the whole microphone thing, everyone's been trying to duplicate it. Everyone from Mr. Kennedy to Roman Reigns, now CM Punk. They all want to be The Rock. But there's only one Rock. I'm sorry. That's the way it is. CM Punk is great on the mic, but he's no rock. So if he wants to cry like a baby and go home, let him go home. And this whole authority thing is getting boring. Seriously. We're into a new year and you're still on that. Leave Daniel Bryan alone. Let him become champion already. Yeah, I admit that the long hair does make him look like a troll, but so what? You just give the Royal Rumble to Batista so he won't walk out on you because deep down you know that your company is trash now. And the only people that are holding it together are the little Jimmies, as our truth used to call them, meaning the children. This is the truth. I'm not talking trash. I'm talking truth, as John Cena said. Back in 2011. This is nothing but the truth. Kids are the only thing that's holding your company together. So deep down, you really don't care about the fans as long as you make money. You could care less. And that's real. The authority? What a joke. You're not authority. You're just a corporation ripoff. The only person that's missing is Vince. And instead of Randy Orton, The Rock should be standing there. And Shane McMahon. Authority. That's a joke. Seriously, just stop. By the way, to the Attitude Era fans, stop complaining about the Attitude Era. Because even if they did bring it back, we don't have any stars that are talented enough to pull off the kind of antics that can only be seen in the Attitude Era. Who would pull it off? We don't have anybody. So what difference does it make? Don't bring it back to Attitude. At least put it back on Ruthless Aggression. I'd settle for that. But as I've stated, you don't care because you have the little jimmies by your side. And that's all you care about is the money. Forget the fans before the kids that made you. Just as long as you got the money, you're good to go. Come up with better storylines. Or soon you'll even lose the children. Because I got news for you. Children don't stay children forever. They grow up eventually. Then what are you going to do, Triple H? What are you going to do, Vince? What are you going to do, Stephanie? Linda? WWE board of directors. People grow up eventually. Bye. And whether you like it or not, I approve this message. And I made this video because it's best for business.